welcome to news feed on Charles TV. I am Sumaya Abubakar, taking you through the stories trending online that people are talking about and sharing around the globe today. Abdullah Adamo resigns as APC chair. Sarab gives Akpabio about seven days to drop plan to spend 110 billion naira on bulletproof cars and others. Toby Amusan sets new record as she wins 100 meter hurdles at Silesia Diamond League. And Jane Birkin, actress, singer, and inspiration behind Hermes Birkin bags is dead. Now, top of what's trending today, we have the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Senator Abdullah Adamu, tendered his resignation on Sunday, July 16th, Daily Trust reliably guarded. Credible sources confirmed to the paper that Adamu, who emerged as the national chairman at the party's national convention held in March 2022, has sent his resignation later to the presidential villa Abuja ahead of the return of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu from the African Union meeting in Kenya. One of the sources said Adamu, a former governor of Natural State, sent the resignation later to the chief of staff of the president, Femi Bajabia Mila, around 4 p.m. on Sunday. Also, a source close to Adamu corroborated this, adding that the national chairman resigned following a gang up by people around the president to embarrass him during the meetings of the party slated for Tuesday and Wednesday. The source, however, denied a report that it was President Tunubu that asked Adamu to resign ahead of the national caucus and National Executive Committee meetings of the party slated for Tuesday and Wednesday. A founding member of the party said Adamu resigned when he got wind that two influential personalities around the president had mobilized against him ahead of the meeting. When contacted, Adamu told the paper that he will not comment on the matter until President Tunubu returns from the AU's meeting. An artisan commented, what an old man see, even you, when you stand, you can't see it, Jaguar. Another person said, because he knows that President Bola Tinubu will soon kick him out of office. And someone said, there is absolutely no smoke without fire. You can't tell me there is no underground arrangements going on that led to this. We are here for it all by God's grace. Next on what's trending, we have the socio-economic rights and accountability project. Serap has urged the Senate President Godswell Akpavio and Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas, to drop this scandalous plan to spend 40 billion Nara on 465 exotic and bulletproof cars for members and principal officials and 70 billion Nara as palliatives for new members. In a later dated 15th July 2023 and signed by Serap Deputy Director Kola Wale Oluwadari, the organization argued that while 70 billion Nara support allowance is budgeted for 360 new lawmakers, only 500 billion Nara worth of palliatives is budgeted for 12 million poor Nigerians, while 40 billion Nara is also allocated to buy 465 sports utility vehicles, the SUVs, and bulletproof cars for members and principal officials. The group urged the lawmakers to repeal the 2022 Supplementary Appropriation Act to reduce the budget for the National Assembly by 110 billion naira, reflect the current economic realities in the country, and address the impact of the removal of fuel subsidy on the over 137 million poor Nigerians. Sarab also urged them to request President Bola to to present a fresh supplementary appropriation bill to redirect the 110 billion naira to address the situation of the over 20 million out of school children in Nigeria for the approval of the National Assembly. The letter in part read that we would be grateful if the recommended measures are taken within seven days of the receipt and or publication of this letter. If we have not heard from you by then, Sarab shall take all appropriate legal actions to compel you, the National Assembly. Inetizen said they borrowed 500 billion for 250 million people and only 308 people will share 110 billion. Tinubu's government is directly proportional to Buhari's government. No defense. Big congrats to those who felt that they were doing us during the election. I hope they are enjoying the government that they voted. A guy said, I don't see the importance of the state assembly or the national representatives. They are just a bunch of bigots approving loans to be looted, sharing national cake, and driving around in bulletproof convoys with no other purpose in life than to steal taxpayers' money. A lady asked, but why are these politicians this way in a country where hunger is the order of the day? Next on what's trending, we have Toby Amosen who sets new record as she wins 100-meter hurdles at Silesia Diamond League.
Nigeria's Tobia Mosan on Sunday, July 16th, won the 100 meter women's hurdles at the 2023 Silesia Diamond League. The world record holder only caught American Kendra Harrison on the line in a thrilling race to set a meeting record with 12.34 seconds. Harrison came second in a time of 12.35 seconds, while Ali was third in a time of 12.38 seconds. Megan Tapa of Jamaican ran a second of 12.49 seconds to come forth in the race. Speaking on the milestone, Amusan said, It was not easy for me with injuries in my hamstring and my knee, but I trusted in my coach and my work. It's all about the process. I just won this in a smooth style. I was just running. Honestly, I had no idea that I won when I crossed the finish line. In Etizen wrote, This is the real record, and congratulations to her. Not all those social media records breakers wannabes. A guy wrote, congratulations to her. Nigerians in the academic and entertainment spaces are making the country proud from football to music to MMA. It's just leadership that is our issue. Another guy added, Ministry of Sports will still close their eyes. They won't appreciate her now. Congratulations, Toby. Next on what's Randy, we have detectives in Ondo State have nabbed a food seller and housewife, Mrs. Esther Godwin, for allegedly pouring hot water on a nursing mother, Samuel Endurance, over an allegation of having illicit affairs with her husband. Mrs. Godwin was arrested at the weekend after she lured the victim, Samuel, to her house in the Olofin community of Idara in the Idara local government area of the state. Daily Trust gathered from sources that the suspect called the victim on the phone under the pretense to come over and collect palm oil for her husband. But to her surprise, the suspect, after taking the baby from her, queried her relationship with her husband. But she denied that there was no relationship between them other than working for her husband. The suspect was said to have run into her room out with a kettle of hot water and poured it on Endura's body. The victim was immediately rushed to the hospital center in the town, but later referred to General Hospital Aladia Adera, where she is still receiving treatment. Narrating her ordeal on the sick bed, Endurance explained that though she usually worked on the suspect's husband's farm, there was nothing between them other than a master and laborer relationship. Fumilayo Odulami, the police public relations officer in Ondo State, who confirmed the arrest of the suspect said she would be charged. An artisan commented she should have poured the hot water on her husband so he will not cheat on her for a long time but no they will attack her fellow women. He will continue with another do. A lady opined as much as doing this isn't the remedy leave people's husband. If you don't agree to this relationship they will stay off. Another lady said I can't lose my freedom over a man. I would rather take a bow if I can't cope. Well, I agree with that. Now let's take a short break. And when we come back, you will see why Singapore Portable is trending on the blogs. Stay tuned. Welcome back. It's News Feed. Now, Singer Portable arrests his mechanic for publicly advising him about his wrecked G Wagon. The singer crashed his 250 million naira Mercedes Benz G Wagon on Wednesday, July 12, where he vowed to replace the crashed Mercedes Benz G Wagon with a more luxurious and expensive one. The mechanic that was supposed to fix it made a video of how damaged the car is, and that got him arrested by Portable. Take a look at both clips. I here with me have a G Wagon 2000. 14 accidental okay and uh, we have look 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 to do this car would be difficult let's just say 90 percent is in short it's difficult but i just want to show you guys how the accident looks like the advice and the money the owner i'm not in the owner's pocket if he has the money we can bring it that, uh, back to life but it will take a lot of times so this is it this is the car look at the front the engine is even affected and there's a lot of money mm? so look at the bill is not too much of work or hmm. the best thing for the person to get this motor make him bush out or make him sell him scrap you understand so the accident is very very bad let's go let me show you guys the under come see the under of the car look at it this is what we call beam i've tried this before i suffered a lot before i did that but this one the way i'm seeing this one, i don't want to have issue with the owner break this one is right off let's go back for furniture i was to my company for your repair and I gave my honest opinion of what I saw. And it has come to my knowledge that that car belongs to Zazu, which is portable. And the other 
ones that be seeing videos flying around that was taken without my concept. And I'm using that opportunity to say, as we are sorry for any inconvenience, anything that it might cost you. Thank you very much. And God. The guy wrote, arresting a mechanic for making a video about a car. He didn't mention any name, no proof that the video was posted by him. There is absolutely no basis for this arrest except corruption. Someone opined, portable arrest person. You see people who talk anyhow about others. They are always so quick to get mad when they get same treatment. Another person said, you were unprofessional and you deserve to be arrested. Your opinion wasn't meant for the public, but between you and your customer. There is no client confidentiality with you. You will use this and learn a lesson. Next on what's trending, we have a woman who floors her husband of 14 years after he compared her to Tiwa Savage. Take a look at their conversation. See big paper when they eat. I don't understand you. When I'm married, you don't be like this. I don't expect all this. See fat for your body. You don't know, be like drunk. She was savage, eh? She's 42. She still know you, but look at her shape. See the way her shape be. When you decide not to like, you know, the see babe for her body. What do you mean you talk? What do you mean savage? 42 years, eh? How many years ago they married you? 14 good years. If you are savage, married for only one year, she will crease. She will not be too savage, and then she will turn to her garbage. What do you mean they talk? Say to her, they compare me to her savage. Me to her savage, stay inside this house with you. Only one year, I swear she will call you. You come, if, if you won't talk to me, talk to me directly. Which one be it was savage? Just tell me, say, maybe I'm not getting like your girlfriend, buddy. Why do they compare me? Me and Tiwa Savage the same level. I don't have enough vessel. I bet they go, sure. Which one be all this? Just tell me, say, if. Oh, God. Oh, buddy, it's your pool. Oh, buddy. See, now, if they give me joy, you they give me joy. You, 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 you they give me joy. At least, rather, they give me joy and I go eat them. But for not the stress, when they just like make a copy, they have the stress of what to eat and what not to eat joy now. The stress when they give me, never do. The lady said, sadly, this is how some men says their wives after childbirth and many years of being together. Love her response, though. Another lady wrote, if she compares him to Obi Kubana now or starts broke shaming him, he will start crying and ranting about how women like money. And someone asked, if they bill you the same amount that Tiwa used to maintain her body, can you drop it without sweating? Next on what's trending, we have actor and singer Jane Birkin, who made France her home and charmed the country with her English grace, naturally style and social activism, has died at the age of 76. Now, Birkin was found dead on Sunday, July 16th by her caregiver. Her cause of death is not yet known, but ABC News reported that the actress has been plagued with health issues in recent years, including a stroke in 2021 and a broken shoulder blade earlier this year, which has kept her from performing and appearing publicly. Born in London in December 1946 to Judy Campbell and David Birkin, the actress found fame and a lifelong home in France after moving to Paris to work on the movie slogan when she was 20. Even with her British roots, the singer became a fashion icon in France in the 1960s and 70s, inspiring the creation of one of the most expensive and highly sought after luxury bags in the world. The Birkin bag by the French luxury design house Hermes. It was reportedly born after a conversation between Birkin and Hermes chief executive Jean-Louis Dumas on a flight from Paris to London, on which they discussed how difficult it was to find a bag that could fulfill Birkin's need as a mother of two. Your netizen commented, so this is the woman behind this Birkin's madness. May her soul rest in peace. A guy said, Birkin made a bag with Dumas because she needed something that was both affordable and stylish that could fulfill the needs of a mother since she was already a mother of two. Unfortunately, corporate times came and they no longer cared about the affordability any longer and just made bags and called them Birkin because they knew people would buy. Someone said, the bag is not even fine, but may she rest in peace. Will the price reduce now? <laughs> Good question there. And lastly, onto a funny video of a man who thought that he got lucky. Take a look. Fun together. Mm -hmm. Can we have fun together? Fun? Yes. Can we have fun? <laughs> do, you, do you mind? Yes? Do you mind? Can we have fun together? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Have fun. Sorry, I'm on the phone. He shot you. I'm on the phone. I'm, on the phone. Okay. I'm not talking to you. Okay. Yeah. Now that was awkward and embarrassing. And that is all on Newsfeed today on Trust TV. Follow us and subscribe to all our social media platforms Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye.